Hey guys, what's up? It's David here from CLE Fan 7 Autos with the four package TTML Day recap for uh, Thursday, February 28th, 2013. Uh, today's a big day, guys, in uh, the Catholic Church. Uh, the Pope is resigning, first time in like 600 years, I think. So, um, it does affect me. I am Catholic. <laughs> so, I uh, just thought I'd throw that out there, but uh, so that really doesn't matter. Uh, tiny thing that we're talking about right now, but let's get into the TTMs. First one, probably the mojo of the day, coming in from West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, one of the best prospects in baseball. He signed 2 of 2 in 27 days. Marlins top prospect, and I believe he's the number 7 prospect overall, Jose Fernandez. He's a pitcher, uh, soon to be Marlins ace. I think him and Bundy, and there's somebody else I'm forgetting. Wow. I usually know my prospects like that, but I keep forgetting. Uh, him and Bundy, I think, are the top two pitching prospects. And there's somebody I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh, Zach Wheeler. Him, Zach Wheeler, and Dylan Bundy. Those are the top three pitching prospects, I think. Um, Zach Wheeler's for the Mets, and uh, Bundy's obviously for the Orioles. But next one, Phoenix, Arizona. He signed two of two in 28 days. Um, current Seattle uh, Padres outfielder. Cal Blinks signed 2010 tops. Looks pretty cool. And he also signed 2012 tops. Probably the best card in the 2012 tops set. Speaking of the 2012 top set, guys, I think I'm going to start doing that set. Uh, obviously, autographed. Of course, I already have the complete set. But um, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to go all out like some of the guys on here do. But, you know, just on the side, I think I'll do that. So that would be pretty fun. Next one. Coming out of Phoenix, Arizona as well. He signed 4 of 3 in 28 days. Uh, current Angels catcher, Chris Iannetta. He signed 20, 2007 tops, 2010 tops, and the 2012 tops update. Then Blue Sharpie. And then the extra he added, um, he obviously he returned my letter as you guys can see. And then he wrote a little letter right here. Um, I'll cover this up. I don't want you guys to see my name here, so I put a little sticky note. But he wrote, um, David, thank you for your letter. Good luck in baseball. Hope to see you in the major soon. And then put CI. Obviously not his whole signature, but I'm still going to count that as a success in its own. So that's pretty awesome. And then the last one. Again, out of Phoenix, Arizona. He signed 1-1 one one in 17 days. Current Rangers relief pitcher. I think he's a relief pitcher. He might be a starter. Um, Yoshinori Tateyama. Signed it in gold. Really hard to see, but it actually looks pretty cool. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but now that I look at it, it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, speaking of the Rangers, the Indians are playing them right now. And, um, yeah, guys. Uh, so, tomorrow, sending out a nice big stack of TTMs. I didn't count how many it is, but they're all spring training. One's probably my last batch for spring training. So, that would be pretty nice. Um, now, here's a question I want to throw out here, guys. Obviously, it's a basketball question, not about baseball, but uh, rumors are swirling that LeBron James might be returning back to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, I just want to get your opinions on it, guys. Uh, please, I mean, this really could draw negative attention. Please don't do anything dumb in the comments. Um, I just want to know, I mean, what's your guys' opinion? I mean, here in Cleveland, it's like kind of mixed emotions. It's like some people want him back, some people don't. Um, for me, you know, I, I'll take him back if it means winning a championship. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think he he can't come back until the summer of 2014, so next summer when he's a free agent. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. I personally think he will come back because, I mean, I don't want to get any Heat fans mad, but... I mean, they're probably going to win it again anyways this year, but uh, Miami in 2014, I think Bosch is already really not, he's kind of sucking it up <laughs> right now. He's not really doing too good. And then Wade's kind of slowing down a little bit, so I think that the possibilities of him coming back to his hometown, as long as, I mean, got Kyrie Irving going to be a great point guard, and then some other good guys like Deion Waiters, but I think that that will be more appealing to him than Miami will be. I mean, that's just my opinions. I mean, other than Miami's a lot nicer weather than Cleveland, but, I mean, it is his hometown here, so I think that should be thrown out, but, so, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about that, and, um, yeah, that's about it for me today. Thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye.